Hi. And there's my boyfriend. Oh, he's walking away. Hello? Coming. Today on Logan Lee Adventures. Love how outside of our accommodation is this little food market right here. And as you can see, it's this alley, but it's so lively already. People are just hanging about. You know, Naples get this kind of reputation, especially amongst Italy, amongst people who have never been here. But I'm not saying that the reputation isn't well deserved. However, Naples itself is unapologetic. It's like a little kid who knows who it is and is like, I am here to me for who I am. And that's it. And that's what, to me, embodies, what Naples embodies. And I absolutely love it. It is alive, it is thriving, and it is its own character. One of Europe's largest and oldest cities they call her the Grand Dame for a reason. Naples is chaotic, intense, and a surprising city that's etched with character. I did not expect this place to be so grand. This has been the furthest south Jeroen and I has ever ventured in Italy. And we have been visiting this country every single summer. But this colossal metropolis, the third largest city in Italy after Rome and Milan, has been inhabited since the Neolithic period. And it has seen some form of continuous human activity through ancient Greek times to the Roman Empire and even further. Honestly, the fact that it has taken us this long to finally be here just means that we need to keep coming back already. Seriously, can get used to listening to the live music playing every single block. I love that there's book markets on the streets everywhere in Napoli. My heart. So, to the most infamous pizza place in all of Napoli, L'Antica Pizzeria di Michel. It has been named the best pizza in the world countless times, making lists such as 100 restaurants in Europe's worth of pilgrimage and made famous by one of my favorite books ever, Elizabeth Gilbert's Eat, Pray, Love, commonly known to Neapolitans here as Da Michele Pizzeria. The restaurant dates back to 1870, so it's an iconic institution amongst the locals and international food lovers alike, still being run by the same family that founded it. The menu is very straightforward. Two pizzas and a selection of drinks. There's the 4 Euro Pizza Margarita or 4 Euros Pizza Marinara served to you in this dining room style pizzeria where you share tables with others. Here's the key about Neapolitan pizzas and why they stand out from the rest of the crowd. The texture of the pizza is also light with small char grilled notes from the oven and yet no crispiness, just the warm sticky dough to dance with that rich tomato sauce and milky mozzarella. Yep, forget everything that you knew so far about pizza folks, this here is it. Does it live up to the hype though? I'm definitely the happiest boy in the world right now sitting here but in this town competition for the best pizza is fierce. The pizza here at the Michele though is definitely a benchmark. So 
that is ricotta, cheese, and a cannoli. How is it? Is it cheesy? Oh. Is this a pistachio cannoli? Mm. Oh my god. Why? Right. of pistachio, but it's nice to my mouth. Like, just a punch. <laughs> this is a type of street food that you can also get in Napoli. Nothing like to end our morning with some lemone grana. A cool down we need. This is our elevator up to our accommodation. And as you can see, there's a tiny elevator in the middle of the courtyard in Naples. But, here's the cool part. Let's go in. Okay, first you have to use a key. So this is the apartment's elevator. Except, not everybody in the apartment wants to use the elevator. So, to reduce the electricity costs, you have to pay 20 cents euros every single time you use the elevator. But, because it's our host, she gave us a bunch of 20 cents to put it in. Yes. Oh, All the way to the fourth floor we go, and then the door closes. And we go up. Uh, open this latch. That's it. Ciao. And sometimes sweet food in Napoli just means fried fish. You got anchovies, you got a little scampi, you got this huge fried piece of I don't know what on top. But it looks delicious and we are going to take in. because it's fried anyways. It's nice. It has a little sweetness to it. And then there was fried saltiness on the outside. I cannot get more Napolitan than fried anchovies. Finished the fried fish part and now we're going down to fried risotto. Also there's another one with fried different type of cheeses like ricotta. And then we also had a fried one with pasta in it. Ooh, so many good different selections all in one little cone. At this point I think we are on a full out food hopping adventure all over Napoli. We've seen the sights but we still want to taste as much as we can in this gorgeous city. That's it. Here are fourth time at Manella Gelateria in Napoli, and it never gets old. Just tastier. Every time. Yuri and I are always on the hunt for food during our travels, and there's no such thing as too much pizza. You can quote me on that. The legendary Sorvillo Pizzeria in Napoli. So this pizzeria actually has been burnt down before by the Mafia because they didn't want to pay. So basically the Mafia has this protection fee against the businesses around 
And if you don't pay the protection fee, then, well, you don't get protected. And this pizzeria got burnt down by the mafia from that because the owner was like, I'm not gonna pay your protection fee. And then they had to rebuild it. But this pizzeria has brought different life into this neighborhood because of the success here. And even before, you guys didn't see it, but this is, it's already crowded and the restaurant literally, literally just opened a few seconds ago. This pizzeria has the most, the world's most expensive pizza. That is priced, I think it's 8,500,000 euros, if I'm reading this correctly. And the toppings include mozzarella buffalo, uh, extra virgin olive oil, of course, classic, uh, basilico, and uh, a few other ingredients. So during our time in Naples, we've been to three different pizzerias, all specializing in Neapolitan pizzas, trying out mainly their pizza margarita, with of course, side order of other type of pizzas. Though our top favorite pizzeria, it's a close tie, but here at Sorbillo and Pizza da Attilo from our previous Napoli vlog takes the cake, or should I say mozzarella. Final meal in Napoli, and we are going to go out with a seafood bag just to change it up from the pizza and gelato. Even though we're going to get gelato later, uh, you know where. So, in old Napoleon, Napolitian tradition, we're just sitting straight out on the wild streets of Napoli for dinner. That's right, scooters is whizzing by on the cobblestone streets, and then. And we're getting food from the seafood shop. It's literally just a fish shop right next door. And then they just bring out it prepared with whatever we order. Pacchieri, traditional short Italian pasta with swordfish and black olives making this evening delicious. Now this is how one would enjoy a dish with fresh fish in the true heartbeat of old Napoli. And that's all I can ask for in this life. Gelateria Manello. We're about to get our final scoops. It's a gelato in Napoli at our favorite gelateria. Oh, which flavor should I go out with? Baby? I have mulberry from Vesuvius, strawberry, peach, and of course the cream. Like, have you ever had gelato? It's literally overflowing and this is what I want from gelato. This is only size medium. Crazy. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment. And I'll see you in the rest of the video.